welcome to the BIF Talks of the 36th Braunschweig International Film Festival. We talk with our guests about the latest film, the filmmaking process, and we'll take a closer look behind the curtains. My name is Julia Rutkowska, and here with me is Ceylan Ötzgen Ötzgelik, director of 15 Plus. Hi. Happy to have you here. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Welcome. Ceylan, the numbers are shocking. One out of every three women is subjected to physical and or sexual violence from the age of 15. Your film is about two of these numerous women. What is their story? Actually, their story is uh, also my story and a lot of women's story. Um, basically, the story began with me looking at my uh, family's woman uh, when we were celebrating a holiday in a very, very big kitchen. And I was just uh, staring at my grandmother, my mother, my aunts, and uh, my little cousins. And I was just thinking, who are these women and who are these girls? Do I know them really well? Because I know uh, what they have been through uh, in their marriages uh, and before. And uh, they don't know anything about what I have been through. Uh, but I never uh, was so brave to tell them about what I have been through. And then I thought uh, this is the best way to express my uh, feelings and a lot of women's feelings through this documentary. So I started to meet with women in prisons, actually. I studied law and I became a lawyer, but I never did my job. I never practiced because I always wanted to become a filmmaker. Uh, and, uh, but it was good to study law because uh, it gave me access to uh, meet with the women in prisons. And um, you know, fighting back is actually a legal defense, but when it's about women, the law uh, doesn't think so. Uh, so they um, treat it like criminals, and uh, legal defense is not there at all. So when I started to meet with women in different prisons in Turkey, uh, I saw many things were common. Uh, I mean, their pasts, uh, their family lives, and uh, their lives uh, when they got married. Um, most of the women try to uh, connect with their families and try to go back after the violence starts and becomes tense and becomes threat for also for the children. And uh, the, their parents are not so welcoming. Uh, and they uh, tell them, you leave this house with your um, you know, wedding dress, and uh, you can only come when you're dead. So now you belong to your uh, husband. And uh, they try to go to police sometimes, but the police lives in their neighborhood. And you know the neighborhoods, they know everybody. Everybody knows each other. So uh, it's always a struggle with the police also. Even uh, you are going with, uh, with a you know, bad eye or uh, with accus and everything. And um, so they, the police calls their uh, husbands to take them in. And then the violence gets even worse. Uh, many of the women tried also to commit suicide. And uh, when they survive, again, it gets worse. And um, when the uh, physical violence also, um, when, all, when the children also subjected to the physical violence, that's it for the women and they became a little bit, you know, like uh, they start to fight back. And uh, in a situation like it's their life or it's their and children's life or uh, the husband's life, then, uh, you know, they fight back and the, they kill, to kill the man. Uh, but uh, I, for Aileen and Hava, um, they are in prisons now, and they will be in prisons for uh, six years more. Uh, nothing to do for them. The law thinks that they are guilty. So these are two women, Aya and Hava. Um, uh, you're telling their story, and um, it's not a typical documentary because you couldn't just film them, mm -hmm. uh, them mm -hmm. in person. Yeah. You had to uh, stay in contact with them through mm -hmm. letters. How yeah. was Actually, I became uh, very close during my visits. 
but uh, my visas didn't include any recording because it wasn't allowed. And uh, when they said that they are ready for uh, the, to document uh, their thoughts, who are they, their lives, uh, we uh, applied to the Ministry of Justice to get the permissions needed uh, to uh, enter the prisons with the cameras and so on. Uh, but after like six, seven months waiting, uh, they just declined without giving any answer or you know, explanation. Uh, they just said declined. And uh, we tried some ways that we didn't so happy with because, you know, uh, we, we had to communicate with some AKP people, I mean, you know, the party uh, that we don't like a lot, but uh, we had to do that to uh, be able to uh, enter the prisons and to record their faces, to record them. And uh, nothing, you know, nothing worked. Uh, so then we applied again to the Ministry of Justice, but this time to record their voices. So we said, we told them that, okay, no cameras, but ju it's just me, uh, and I will meet them in the uh, small room that uh, the lawyers visits, you know, them. It's, it's a very small room. Uh, so you can just accompany, I will just record their voices. And again, after uh, like five, uh, six months waiting, again declined without any explain explanation. So I didn't have a choice uh, to, you know, like writing letters, but besides that I didn't have a choice. Uh, so the two actresses uh, were uh, their voices, they become their voices through these letters and uh, I filmed the places they lived in, their children now living in, and um, their dreams, nightmares, and everything. I try to uh, film all of the, their feelings uh, they wrote through the letters. So, um, as you said, even though you couldn't use their uh, own voices, you still had the possibility to give them a voice, to give yourself a voice, and many other women through this film, which they didn't have before. This is why you're also no nominated for our Women's Film Award, the Tilda. And of course, this is kind of not very only a difficult um, story, but I think it was a maybe dangerous mm -hmm. procedure. Yes. Did you have any obstacles or did you feel in danger? Mm -hmm. you yeah, actually I did. Uh, through all this permission uh, process, uh, it was really a struggle uh, for all of us. And uh, because of the Istanbul Convention, I don't know if you are aware, but Istanbul Convention is a, it's kind of a law, international law, that uh, protects uh, women, uh, women uh, violence against women. It's, it's really criti crucial, critical, but um, we are no longer a part of it for the last couple of years. And uh, it's huge because the, the numbers are increasing. Uh, we lost too many women. Uh, and uh, the guys actually, uh, just because they dress well in the courts, they can get away with it. And so um, when it's about the women uh, who defend their, themselves, it's always dangerous because uh, they think that it's, uh, the, this film says you can kill your husbands, you know you can kill your husband. So it's a dangerous film for them, but it's not about them. It's about how this is even possible, how woman has to kill. Uh, yeah, what happens and then, uh, you know, uh, why is it happening? <laughs> it's about it, this, it's again about the system itself and about the power, of course. <laughs> Um, 15 plus is a part of a trilogy. Could mm -hmm. you tell us more about that? Yeah, of course. It's uh, actually the trilogy is called Witch Trilogy, and it's about the witches they cannot burn. Uh, it's about the witches uh, who uh, rebel, uh, who is alive, <laughs> who uh, dance in the middle of the night uh, together, <laughs> um, and it's about women who still have the strength uh, to laugh. Actually, I know it's, it's impossible, uh, it's too hard, but uh, still we have the strength uh, to laugh when we come together. Uh, 
so it's the most important part to come together. So this, uh, all three films is about uh, violence against women and little girls, but they all, uh, in the finales of all these three films, uh, you breathe. <laughs> Uh, they don't have uh, sad endings, I hope. <laughs> that was my intention when I started the trilogy. And uh, all three films are different stories, different genres, different forms. First one is uh, 13 plus, and it's uh, about a 14-year-old girl. And it's a horror, uh, horror drama, uh, fiction, and no dialogue. And uh, the last film will be a dark uh, comedy, uh, a musical, uh, which has no time and place. Uh, actually, it will be about my family's uh, women, but, <laughs> you know, it's just the inspiration. And uh, I add, added so many fictional uh, things, happy fictional things, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, and uh, we will uh, be shot, shooting the film next year, I hope. Okay, so you're already working <laughs> yes. on the script and so about on. the finance. Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> which is, which is a, again a very yeah, part. you have to fight for it. <laughs> yes. But, okay. Ceylan, thank you very much yeah, thank for the you. interview and thank you for bringing such an important film to our festival. Yeah, thank you for inviting. <laughs> Bye.